back. Welcome to the second video in my Animation Nodes series. Animation Nodes is a Blender plugin made by Jacques Luc. Be sure to check out my first video in this series in the info card above. I totally ganked the idea for this intro from Zach Hickson. See his video above. And here's my node tree for this example. It's a happy node tree. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Quiet. I'm assuming that you saw my first video so that you know how to set this node up, this node up, this node up, this node up, and this node up. So really I'm just going through the node logic and actually this node up. So really I'm only going to talk about these four nodes right here. I made a group of objects made out of this fence by modeling the first three pieces turning them into arrays, then rotating them, copying them, blah, 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 until I made them all into one piece. I centered the origin at the center bottom and separated them as individual parts. Then I put them all in one group called fence, and that's what's feeding my invoke subprogram loop right here, which is also feeding what my object transform effect is going to be. Now my object transform is only going to change the Z location, which this combined vector is getting from all of these nodes. So the index, okay, let me start here. The idea is to get all of my fence post pieces to land by frame 250, but not all of them at the same time. If I disconnect this guy, my default value on my subtract node here is at 250. So my whole frame, my whole fence falls all together at frame 250. Now what it's doing here is taking the time info and subtracting 250 from it and then sending it through the rest of the other things. If I add a control A to search, add a debug node so I can see what this node is outputting. Then when I scroll here, you can see that this would basically indicate the height that that last fence part is at when this loop runs through. So at frame 10 or at frame one, it would be 250 minus one or I'm at frame 2 now, which should be 248, and it is. So that shows that it's working right. So it scrolls all the way down, and at 250, it lands at 0. 0 is, you know, the ground. So, in order to make it so each individual piece randomly falls, then I add my index into the C to this random number generator. I want some of them to land at 250, some of them to land at 130, and all in between, and that's what that random number does. So I feed that random number into my 250 here. Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting some weirdness here, which is great, which means the first one landed somewhere, or the first, the last one in this loop landed right in here somewhere which would maybe be one of these, well, any of these that are already touching the ground. So that covers this and this. The next thing is this multiply node. If I don't have that multiply node in there, my fence pieces don't fall far enough. See, they're even almost in the screen, way at the first frame. So my multiply node is making it so everything is five times higher. So now it has to fall five times further. That's excellent. This node right here is a maximum node, and what it does is it chooses the maximum number between these two inputs. So if this number A right here is less than zero, it will always pick zero. If I don't have this node here, it would go below. And that ruins my effect completely. So we put it back where it is where it was and there it goes perfect the first time I came up with this whole node tree I was using 
Boolean comparisons and all that. And I lost the uh, file because it crashed when I was doing a render. And I hadn't saved. I'm glad because the next day I came up with this right here and it was much simpler and cleaner. The other one was complex. So, as extra credit, if I want to vary, vary this right here, this 5 multiplier, I can add another random one, duplicate, change it to 5, change it, this one to 10, and seed my index in, into the seed. And I'll plug that right into the 5, and some of them will be 5, some of them will be 10, and the other ones will be in between. And that makes everything fall different speeds now, which further randomizes the effect, the effect of what the node tree is doing. The next video I'm going to do will use almost the same node tree, but an entirely different effect. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss it. Bye now.